Oh, no. <laughs> well, in this case, they've, they've been very good people to us. And then, in fact, they are here. They are right there. They are happy that something like this is coming up in Arepo. So, about this project, if you look at it, driving in from Arepo, last year when we wanted to come, that was when they were doing the insana, internal road of Arepo. Is anybody, are you familiar with Arepo? That was when they were doing the internal road. It was so messy. They were using red sand. So, I came and I just said, again, I just ran back. So when I came this January and I saw that the place was ready, I said, okay, now this is the time. So as much as possible from there, there are three access into Buera. So our SA falls inside Buera. Buera is an SA that was created by residents and bought properties here. Everybody just formed like an association. Are you following me? It's not like an estate, like if you can see we develop an estate and then people buy into it. So we form the estate and we're happy with what they are doing so far because if there is no corporation there, you will see that every road here is paved. It will be paved. So there's a couple of, there's a level of cooperation within the community that we also have been able to tap into and then we're happy to partner with them by giving our support as much as possible. All the residents are so excited with what is happening here. So coming into our report, I'm sure you saw a security entrance at the gate there that can stop you. That's the main entrance to the area. So there are three roads at least that entrance because they have gotten a lot of questions that there's a narrow entrance that you are coming in through. So apart from that narrow entrance, there are three other roads that lead to the entrance of Oera. This project is about 40 acres. We are going to be having bungalows here. We are going to be having terraces. The new bungalow we are doing in Monastery Road is what we are bringing here, which is this you are seeing. I bring you bungalow. Arepo is actually a prime location in in this axis, on this axis. So if you leave Baga. I can tell you, people would rather live here than live in Oba or Abulega. Especially if you are working on the island or you are working on, I know a couple of civil servants that stay inside this Arepo. And if you compare also estates around here, the cheapest estates around here that I can say is about 40 million and it's not a well-known estate. The next one is Property Mart. How many of us are Property Mart? They are right at Wawa there. They, you can also get to them. Once you cross this road here, yeah, this one bleeds to them. Their lands also extends into this one, down to 60 million. I'm sure you know TA Gardens. TA Gardens on the other side. Who knows the price of TA Gardens? 50 million, 60 something million. 70, yes. And they're only 500 square meters for TA Gardens. And TA Gardens is even more water than this place because they are on the side of the Open River when they open the river. When they open the Open River, it doesn't get here at all. At all. We will drop some images and drone images of this area for you to see. At the back of this place is a is a canal, so all the water here drains into it. So you will see that this place is matched up. As I yesterday, there was nothing like this here. But because as we are spreading up, we are choking the water, and the water is not flowing. So from this weekend, our swamp will be going clear to the drain there. There's another drain on this side, so the water will find its level. So this place is not affected by open or show river basin when they open it. That's a question I, I often get. And we have this side. So we have none of those issues. And if you go by this direction again, before you know it, you'll be getting to let me see there. You'll be getting to Ogijo. Ogijo in Ikorodu. So this this direction goes there. This straight road also goes to Ikorodu. But as you're going now, you just see some swans, but not as far distance any day government wants to. So this is the tentative layer for now. There's a stream here, it's still far away, it just looks that way. So we are channeling water to this place and then and the rest. So we have, um, we have an undeveloped area here too that we have not um, put in the planning. So we'll be having, we'll be having um, bungalows, we'll be having terraces. The terraces we're having here is very similar to what we have in Abidjo. Our terrace models on the island is the same thing as you know, the same prototypes with the bungalows and the rest. So um, this area, when you also come to, see when it comes to Taito, it's different from Lagos State. You know, when you go to Virginia, we have Excision, Gazette, and all of that. So Muse has different ways of acquiring Taito. One is there are many freehold lands in open states, okay? Freehold means people that own the land from time immemorial, government did not acquire, there's no global acquisition in open states, except for government now say they want taking an acquisition for an estate or whatever and the rest. But I repo because it is within a prime zone in Lagos State, in Ogun State, any property that is within two kilometers to the express is called two kilometer corridor acquisition. Do you have a survey here? Anybody is a survey here? 
Is there anybody that is of you here? No, but so they call it two kilometer um, acquisition, one kilometer once it is close to the experts. So they do that. But in this land, in this area also, you know, OPIC. How many of us know OPIC? Yes. Okay. So OPIC is also giving power to acquire land around um, prime areas in Ogun State. But this place is OPIC release acquisition. There's no acquisition, it's free old. Our CFO is ongoing, payments made, all of that. So there's no acquisition in this place. Are we together? Yeah. So when your clients buy from us, they're going to be getting a deal of assignment between us and them, and they'll be getting the bank process their own governor's consent as much as possible. Tackling in Ogun State is not um, a big deal. As much as possible, it may not be as fast as Lagos, but it's not as um, it's not as complex as Lagos. Lagos will be faster in getting that too, but it's more complex. Ogun State is not complex, but it may not be faster. So that's the way it is. So, but as much as possible in this place, we are going to be focusing more on infrastructure. We do not want to make the mistake we made in um, Big Bungalows Phase Three. Big Bungalows Phase Three was a lot of water than this. Those that know where we started it was. Um, in fact, we had a, a dredger sink into that land and we could not bring it out. That is how big Big Bungalows Phase Three. So, for people that are always complain, Big Bungalows, a whole dredger. At least a dredger is higher than this soil to this tip. To the highest point there. As I speak to you, that dredger is gone. It's still yeah. under the ground there. Wow. We couldn't bring it out. In Big Bungalow, it's three. Now that's how deep it is. So, and God help us, we've conquered um, a large portion of the land. And so here we know that it's not going to be a problem. God has helped us, they will help us here. So, we'll, we'll, we'll subdue this place also. And at the same time, as we are doing this place, we are also mindful of timing. So our delivery here is 18 months, starting from 18 months. And then why did we say 18 months? Every When you are reclaiming and working in the water area, there's something that is called curing. You have to allow the soil and um, um, mature into a natural state as much as possible. If you look at this place, you are seeing what like I told you, there was nothing here yesterday. What you are seeing here is about a thousand trips of sand. They are seeing here. And how many square meters has it covered? But as the construction goes on, vehicles move on it. It will be assuming the natural state gradually. But we are in a hurry huh? because, oh, my client has made full payment. My client has made full payment. He wants his house. Everything is a process. So I'm saying it ahead of time because I don't want us to be under pressure and so we can educate our client. This project's delivery is 18 months. months. We are not building on dry ground. We are reclaiming. We are clearing. So. The normal thing is when you are working on this kind of a place that has shrubs. So after you clear, you also need to bring out the roots. The roots, that's the next thing. We just did this for launching, for you to launch. So from Monday now, you'll see a swan book. You will bring out all the roots, stockpile them, and then you now continue your sand filling. The disadvantage if you don't do that is you will actually sand fill a, a tree, the, the roots of a tree, and over time it will decay. Yes. And when it decays, it creates a void. A void. In the, so this place will, will collapse it's inside. Yeah, yeah. And whatever house you built on it, it starts saying cracks. Yeah. So as much as possible, we'll avoid that. So our delivery is 18 months. But the rest are sure that um, this place is going to be very, very fine. By the grace of God. I'll be here to take questions if you have any questions from title to, to construction models, the type of buildings. And then we are going to be changing prices from the, what did I call it, 10 days from now, 15th of April. Please, I want to beg us, um, as much as possible, we want to be, we know that I are going to be videos today, but by 15th of April, allow us to make profits. Let me thank you. 15th, Jerry. Yes. When we, we, but we've started talking about this place since February. Since March. I know. I've been selling, they've been coming. Yeah. And that's the essence of pre launch. That's the essence of pre launch. You can't keep a price at pre launch forever. If I let me tell you, so if you are sampling the plot for 16 million, what is the pre launch there? It's a loss. So how much are you going to sell it? I'm seeking to do other administrative fees, commissions, office. There is a loss. So as much as possible, when people buy pre-launch, they will take you serious. They will know that you're giving them a good deal. If you go to this neighborhood, you won't see any land within our price or any property within our price. 
So as much as possible, we will, we will be increasing the price on the 15th. The bungalows, the detached bungalows that are doing exactly what you see here is going to be 40 million. And then the semi-detached will be 30 million. And they will have a terrace, the two bedroom terraces will be 35, while the three bedroom terrace duplex would also be 45. We will send these details to you across um, our platforms and as much as possible to your groups. But as much as possible, um, I'm very, very um, mindful of the timelines of this project. It's bungalow, bungalow is three months, maximum four months, but there's a lot of things that will be done before you build the bungalow. All right, do we have questions? Microphone, is there somebody here? Let's start with her. Hello, there's somebody here. Okay, go to her, let me give her my microphone. Go to her. Good afternoon. So, um, my question is, if someone buys the land, what the house? So, when is the person expected to have the land that he or she wants to deliver to you? So, for people that buy land also that is not building, allocation will start in less maximum six months. Okay? So, because by that time, we would have mapped out, though we will first of all, reclaim areas we are building. And that's intentional. So if we, if, we, if we reclaim areas for land flows, there's a tendency that they'll buy land and they'll just disappear. Mm. You don't want to enter and they say that you see bush first before going to the house. Yes. So as much as possible, if you look at the layout, so here we are putting a sports center. So this place we are being now is where we put putting this sports center. We're going to do this one first, and then we have bungalows this way, then terraces this way. So that side where you are seeing those flats and the terrace areas, so we'll start there and then just after here, we'll also have the lands. Yes, you have a question. So I noticed on our way here, we were stopped at the gate. Would we have issues if we are coming here with our um, clients? No, just mention the BKC. Just mention it. Yes, just mention Then secondly, for those um, buying lands, do we have any specific designs in the estate? Okay, yes, our estate almost has a prototype. Um, as much as possible, one story building maximum. Um, I mean ground floor and first floor. Um, 600 square meters, you can only have four families there. Only four um, families. Okay, so I got somebody took me up on the debate yesterday. I was like, yeah, this line has 300 square meters. He wants to do two, two bedroom on the ground floor and on the upper floor, another three bedroom floor. I said, those are, those are, those are three families, right? Three family, averagely two family, two, one family has two cars. Is that what is usually the norm? Yeah. Where will six cars park inside 300 square meters? <laughs> Media, we are blocking others. Can we move back a little bit? <laughs> yes, let's move back a little bit. Let's move back a little bit. Somebody at the back. So where will you park six cars inside 300 square meters and then you're having three families? At the end of the day, this person will violate estate rules. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. You so start parking on the road. So to so avoid any unnecessary issue. And when you go to an estate that is well organized, where people understand their boundaries and their limits, that estate will appreciate. It will be fine and the rest. So one um, block, 600 square meters, can only build four family units. That is assuming you are in four flats. Or you do, oh, do you know what the rent house in Aripo here? How much? You don't know. Our workers that are working here, ah, that's one of them. God, where is Saeed? Let's come and tell us. How much did you rent the two bedroom? No. I wish you would see that house. You won't stay there. The only really workers that are staying there, they are hearing me. Workers that are staying there. So, averagely, if you come to this place and are looking for any three bedroom flat apartments, flat is at least 1.5 million to Naira. Yes, here in Arepo, it's as high as 1.52 million. The one they are staying is just site workers staying there and they are collecting 700,000. It's not somewhere you want to stay. So it's a place that um, the value is very high. And as much as possible, if we do it very well, we'll command more value than even the other estates around. 
property mat, if you go to property mat also is very expensive. If you go to tea, that is also expensive. So those are the two essays that we can look at around here that we are trying to match whatever they have done and do better than them. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, madam. Okay, let me have you and then we'll go to you. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, sir. Wonderful presentation. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, spoken words on phone. You talked about tea gardens. You talked about tea gardens. Now, tea gardens, when they feel, even the roads, it's very hard. Whenever that water is released, it doesn't affect them. Okay? So I've noticed um, let, um, your properties on the island. You are a construction company, and that is excellent. That's why at times I don't bother when it comes to swampy areas. Then we need to get something straight. The water history of every area is important. You need to get that in common sense before setting up your foundation. We're selling lands here, not only the house. You could do well for the, your house. What about the lands? What net are you feeding it up to? If you look at this place, it's sloping. You talk about a canal because of the release of that dam. No, the canal here is not connected to that dam. That dam flows into a river. The last time you came, it covered houses. That the other into, side. That other side. Mm -hmm. So we are confident that we check that aspect of the water engineering. Then what level are you feeling to when it comes to the land? Then what level will the client feel to, to build his house? We need to get that in there. This helps the market. Because if you look at that foundation there, where it stays, where will the road reach? So this, the, the real problem or challenge here, not problem, is the aspect of the flooding and the water, the drainage system waves. So if we can get that, you know, of course, this place can send in record time. Thank you, sir. So let me, okay, so let me re explain the drainage um, design again. So please, I'll need your attention. This is the road you are coming into. This road terminates on a property. Okay? Good. Yeah, cool. This road terminates on our property here. So we've done a we've done a topography survey. So from our topo, you can see this stream. This stream is the one that goes to redeem Pan. So it's not connected to the Open Ocean River. So the Open Ocean River that when it is released, it goes through Pan, floods the other bridge, and this other side of Pan River. That other side is not connected to this side. Before this area. So when you, when you go up this road and you get to this paved road, that other side is lower. Is the water when it is released, it still flows to that place. But it doesn't get here at all. So when you talk about... Mm. We notice now falling from places going up down. Exactly. So those places going up down, that means people living here cannot really go out again. No, 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 no. It doesn't affect anything. Let me explain to you. Uh, when we were coming, the road goes down and falls. Uh, that is what I'm saying. No, that is not where I am referring to. Okay? So, um, okay, so let me use this. This is our one house, please. Yes, no, it's a Hello. One ounce, please. One ounce, please. So this is where I'm standing now. This is the main road we came into. If this tap this paved road, okay. So anywhere this road, when you get to the gate, nowhere there is affected by any water. When you get to that gate, if you are going now, as you pass this gate, where security stop you, you can go right or you go straight. If you go straight, you will see the road keeps coming down. That is not the route that most of you pass. When you go straight down, that road will come back again, you will pass out to that market road that is not paved. That portion is low. That portion is the side that I said is usually flooded. Alright? Water does not cross from that side to this side at all. We are almost like this road is like a hill, creating a barrier between that side and this side. So also, if you go up this way, and then you turn right, after the gate, there's another slope to your right that goes down. That gate is locked. And this man, I think they said he lives there, Peter Rufai. That side is down, but no water from release there. It's just a low area, because it's not the direction of flow of that water. As soon as we have a bigger screen here, I told somebody to do a drone. We have a drone image of this area. We'll drop it on the WhatsApp group. So you can actually watch the drone video. You will see all the direction. But this water just goes all the way to um, the video, the day camp. It's not the wrong connected to the open shore. So when it comes to our topography, sorry, already we are standing about two meters above the natural ground of this place when we started. 
to me that if you enter those shrubs that are there, that will not sustain. These shrubs here, they will be higher than you, they will be higher than me, or almost my height. Those shrubs that are seen there, right here. So we are almost like two meters above the natural ground gates that we are now. Okay? Now, when we now go to the back, to the back, this way, this way is still lower than where we are. But what does not offer really because there are many trees here which is not being flowed as well. So as much as possible, we will create a drain to drain here. Our land still extends to somewhere here. We have a treasure here, which is also connected to this place. So the water here drains to this place. So our site will be 100 percent drain. Most of the development you have seen here because they are doing it on one block. They don't have the capacity to do what we are doing now. So everybody is like the person building there now is doing a piling. But as much as possible, if he had the capacity, he would have actually done some fill everywhere there and then do his post and filling test, whether it is piling or this thing that we do. But he has to do whatever he's doing in isolation without bothering his neighbors. So that's what you are saying there. Alright. So when okay. This is the level, yes. This is the level. So if you are now building, you can take, for instance, all our buildings have an average of one meter above ground level. So if you set up a building, you still take like some steps inside the three person. One meter above this level. Yes, it's where our own PPC contaminates. You have a question, sir? Okay, we are coming to you. Alright, thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I want to ask about the land. When clients buy the land, are they sampling or the company is sampling for the land? 
there's a minimum level we are doing. We are not giving them much or something like this. We can feel the land, but they will now be the one to stabilize to any height they want to go. Yes. All right. Any other questions? And if they are known, we can go ahead and do our videos. Say that again. After the sand filling and somebody has bought to say they can go up to any height, is there going to be a uniformity throughout the estate on the right? The road level would actually be the maximum height because that's where we would, our road level will still be higher than this as much as possible after doing the drains. So anybody that is feeling, we can't have more than the road. What you, we can only make the foundation higher than the road and then when you do your compound, it slows water out into the drain. So that's basically it. But as much as possible, nobody is getting this. This is the less you will be getting for allocation. Okay, I already spoke about it. Yes. Okay. In the absence of no other questions, I want to thank every one of you for coming. Um, if you can feel free to do your videos. If you still have some inquiries, you want to ask some questions, feel free to see me. Thank you for coming. And um, by the grace of God, in the next six months, when you come here, you'll be able to say, wow, by the grace of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.